I play Parker Sears, who is um, suffering from thyroid cancer. And he arrives at this facility in Mexico City to, to have treatment. And, um, and that he meets John Kramer, who's also, as, as we know, um, a cancer sufferer, survivor, I guess. And um, so it's really about how he, um, he, he comes into this world um, ho hoping to find a cure and to give him a, a new lease on life. And uh, the story for him is, is how that pans out. Cecilia Peterson is the daughter of, a, of an eminent scientist from Scandinavia. And, sh and uh, she's constructed this program to help cure um, cancer victims. Um, it's based in Mexico City and they use alternative therapies and, and, and you know, therapies that, that her father had developed. Um, and the idea is to bring hope to people who'd previously lost all hope of survival. And uh, John gets caught up in this because, as, as we know from the other films, he's, he's been battling this for a long time and uh, this looks to be a, a, a solution. They've constructed this elaborate scheme to fleece people of their, of their money um, by offering bogus cancer treatments. There is no cancer treatment. They're all going to die, and uh, John's one of them. And uh, so, uh, so it's, it, the, 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 the coolness of the stories is how they reveal themselves and how we find out about what they're really doing. Tobin Bell. Um, is John Kramer. Um, at this point, he doesn't really play John Kramer. He kind of is. He embodies John Kramer. And uh, wh what's amazing uh, in watching him work is how he makes it all make such sense. His rationale and his, the philosophy behind um, his actions and his behavior and uh, his the, the traps and the people he focuses on and, and targets um, all make sense. Whether you agree with his tactics, his, 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 the, the things he devises to, to deal with these issues is, is another matter, but, but he's validated everything he does. He's rationalized it in his mind. He knows what they've done. He knows they deserve to be punished for it. He wants to take people who have committed um, crimes of various descriptions and he wants to um, give them a chance to atone for those crimes um, by sacrificing some of themselves. And so there's always a way out. The question is whether they are prepared to take the way out or not. And obviously those ways out um, involve pain. The traps, they are the, the, the work of some, some, um, some seriously disturbed minds. Um, uh, what's really cool about this is, is, is who gets involved, who, who, who's trapped, why they're trapped, what they have to do to get out of the traps, how they get out, the ones who do get out. You know, it, it's, it's, you, you never know who's, who's going to survive, who's, who's not. It's a really cool story. Um, the, um, the, the setup and the, and the, the, the journey of, of all the characters is, is, um, is, is intriguing. It's uh, complex. There are surprises around every corner. Um, and, you, and you really kind of dig deeper into the psyche of, of uh, um, Amanda and John and and the other characters, myself, uh, and uh, yeah, it's the, 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 it feels to me like this film digs deeper than, than uh, the, the other ones. This, this feels, um, story-wise, like a deeper story.